For the sake of clarity, would you like to stay? Let's be brothers. Yes. So Lucy has decided not to leave the big brother's house anymore. You know, before they came into the house, that giving them a few weeks or something, maybe they already know when they're going to be leaving. But now she came and told big brother that she almost beat up somebody and then she doesn't want to be disqualified. So she wanted to leave voluntarily. But after the pursuit of happiness, coach had come to speak to them, gave them some exercise. She has now come to the resolution of staying in the house and not leaving anymore. So yes, let me know what your thoughts are about her decision and why she came to this point in the first place. Thank you so much. I want to say that I really love you, bro. I do. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Philomena Moses Lawson. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can do it now. Thank you. Please give this video a like as well. If you're a regular viewer, you know I love you so much. It's all of my heart. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. And without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Cece, I want to publicly say I'm sorry. So today was a very emotional day. In fact, from morning up until this point, Shay had gone to apologize. You know, just different things going on in the house. So we had the pursuit of happiness coach come again today. She asked them about their acts of kindness, what they've done so far. She also went ahead to ask random people to do stuff, you know, just tell us this, tell us that. You know, they were just, you know, partaking in some exercise. The final exercise that she asked them to do was for them to go around telling each other one thing that they like about each other. So the, how they did it is they were in circles. The first person is going to walk around with their eyes closed and just meeting everybody on the, the circle and just asking them, okay, what, what do you want to tell me? And the person tells them. This whole exercise got the whole housemates to be really emotional. She wanted to leave. She was even telling them, stop, stop. They even, they're no grief. They shall no grief. But even me, I cried, especially the one that got to me the most was Cross and Pere. You know, Pere started crying when Cross was just telling him, oh my God, you know, I love you. I care for you. And then they were now pecking. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> But that's not why I'm here. Immediately after this exercise was over, Big Brother had told them to go to the garden. And that was how Perez said, guys, I want to, you know, speak to you guys. He has something to say. And then he started out with apologizing to the people that he felt like he had offended one-on-one -on -one in the house. And he said, because of everything that is going on, he just feels like he should do this publicly. So he started with CC. He said, I know that before we came into the house, you had expectations. And for some reasons, your, your reasons are valid. My your expectations were not met and I'm sorry for that. I just hope that you forgive me. This is just a do face. I said, hmm, hmm. But Shah, he Shah said, please forgive me. Yeah, the apology seemed really, really sincere. After CC, he then moved on to Cross. Even though him and Cross, they had had that moment in the house, he had still come out again to say he wants to also apologize to somebody who is very, very important to him, and that is Cross. He was like, I loved you right from 2021. In fact, I still love you. And we had also promised ourselves that when we come into this place, we're going to have each other's back. We're going to be loyal to each other. And you must have heard things, but I just want to say that I'm sorry, and I really, really love you. No no homo but i love you this ship is forever it's for life like it's for life and that was how cross came hugged him and was like i love you too then i started doing that pecking thing again who go peck me bye who go who wants to peck me <laughs> but i really really love you man it's a forever ship Oh Even the housemates were like, oh, they started clapping. You know, that was really, really cool. In fact, I shared a tea, I'm not going to lie. That was really emotional. Moving away, then he went ahead as well to apologize to Adekunle. He was like, where is Adekunle? He says, yeah. He said, so Adekunle, I'm sorry. I said a lot of things that day. I shouldn't have said some harsh words and all. I'm really, really sorry. And Adekunle also says that he's sorry for disrupting the whole rehearsal and all that. After that, he went ahead and apologized to Alex. He was like, Alex, I'm sorry. I didn't agree with you for a couple of things, but you know, I want to believe that we can move past it. We don't have to see each other and walk past without talking to each other. The, the world is very, very big, even outside the house. I want to be able to see you, call you, and you know, just do stuff with you. You know, she apologized. And I was like, mm, okay, okay. Then of course, he went ahead to apologize 
to Elebaye. He was like, him and Elebaye, by the second week, they had that father-daughter relationship thing that they were doing. And yes, she had offended him, disrespected him and all what's not. However, he didn't have to say what he said about her getting a strike, that that was really wrong of him. And he's very sorry. He apologized. And, you know, it's like, oh, so he was like, can I get a hug? And that was how Elebaye came. I was like, yeah, you, you offended me three times. I said, mama, I go hug the boy. I be no go hug the boy. You go hug the boy, I mean, you don't go hug the boy. You know, so they hugged, he hugged it out and it was nice. And when he finished, he wanted to go, he was like, oh, Shei, I, I don't know, I will said to Shei, you know, but then after that, the next person that came out to apologize was Ike. Ike came out and was like, yes, he didn't want to do this publicly. Apologizing is something that is very, very big on, for him. Like he hardly apologizes. He hardly says sorry, but he just wants to do this. The fact that people have seen that video and it was public, he just wants to come out here first to say sorry to angel for all the back and forth many many clashes that they've had he's sorry about that and then he went ahead to apologize to Ilebai as well sorry for trashing the, her clothes that he didn't have to do that and making excuses that oh because of the life he has lived before is not even an excuse that he shouldn't have done that and he was sorry you know that was so cool after that we thought that was over but no it wasn't over Sheyi actually came again after apologizing to them after the morning gym session he came Came again to say guys i said a lot of things talked about the young girls in this house only if he knows that it's not just about the young girls in the house it's about the girls in general like even girls outside the house what i said was disgusting honestly very sorry for those things anyways he now said to the young girls in the house like alex elebaye doing like shout just the girls in the house that he said things that he, he's so disappointed in himself for even saying he can't say the things he said because he's disappointed they are so distasteful and disgusting and he's so ashamed of himself for saying those things that please that everybody should please forgive him he's really really sorry you know and as he was talking he was already tearing up he was already crying you know just feeling really really bad feeling down and you know everybody was just like oh she it's okay it's okay and that's how kimopra and venita shadi went and hugged him you know hugged it out and yeah i'm just coming to the realization that that pursuit of happiness thing that she was doing it looked like it didn't make sense it looked like mm, they've come again all these things is even real but we can see it firsthand that it is touching the the hearts of these housemates people that look like oh they were fighting they were fighting they had things to say to one another and it was so good i was hoping that doi and Ilebaye were going to settle and make out from whatever fights they had after this whole exercise but they didn't anyways let me know what your thoughts are about all the apologies let me also know what your thoughts are about this lady that came with the pursuit of happiness so yeah let me also know your thoughts on lucy don't forget to leave that comment do you think that she was overreacting or, or whatnot thank you so much if you've come this far you're the real mvp and until next time i'm gonna see you on the next one Mwah! bye bye